you're watching Dog Ear Musings, and I'm Monica, and today I'm doing a book review of Kaveh Akbar's debut novel, Martyr. Now, I had seen so many booktubers talk about this book as one of their most anticipated reads for this year, and I also listened to a bunch of interviews that Akbar did, kind of explaining his thought process and inspirations, and I just thought how Akbar talked about his writing, especially this novel, but also his poetry, was really, really intriguing. And so when I finally got my hold from the library to read it, I was so excited. And so now now here are my views on this book. First of all, who is Akbar? Kaveh Akbar is an Iranian American poet and academic. He is really inspired by medium that kind of pushes against the boundaries where he was quoted saying that any medium that he's really enjoyed has really pushed and kind of broken what that medium really is and stands for. And I thought this was really interesting when thinking about his intentions as a writer and kind of seeing how he broke the medium of the novel in this book. And I'll talk a little bit more about that uh, later on in this review. Another thing that I found really interesting was just Akbar's inspiration with this novel in general and its subject matter, where he was kind of inspired by a thought experiment that he kind of well, thought up, which was kind of modeled after Miriam Abramkovich and almost a Abramkovich-esque inspired piece where Akbar imagined the artist and the reader kind of sitting through as the artist um, dies. <laughs> and he figured that in order for someone to experience this in a way that could be read that there would need to be a novel. So what exactly is Martyr about? Well, it just, it doesn't just focus on this like morbid thought experience, uh, experiment. No, um, Martyr focuses on our main character. His name is Cyrus and Cyrus is a 20, 30-ish something Iranian American man who is really haunted by the deaths of his father and mother. His mom passes away in an airplane accident caused by the American government and his father passes away from just like the hardships of life and he is really kind of battling with grief as well as kind of overcoming addiction and Cyrus is really burdened with the question of what does it mean to live and also how can one have a meaningful death like how can someone leave behind the world knowing that their life meant something that's really what Cyrus's driving force is throughout the whole book and he is really thinking that he can answer this question when he meets an artist who is having their last their last piece on exhibit. And this piece is the thought exper experiment that Akbar imagined up. This artist is intending to die and have conversations with the viewers as, as they pass away. Cyrus interrogates this artist, but it's a lot more than that. It's also his interrogation with his own psyche. It's the relationships of him and his parents. It's his relationship with his friends. And Akbar really floats between reality and surrealism, as well as just like kind of imagined conversations. And in this real analysis of grief, and what it means to live. I'm gonna say right away, just for transparency, that I really, really love this book. Uh, I know, hot take. I feel like everyone who's reviewed this book has said that it's it's been a good one. But I will talk about two things that might take you out of the book or it might kind of like alter your kind of experience with the book. One thing to think about is if you are someone who mainly reads plot driven books or genre books. This is not one of those. This is a book that is mostly vibes. It does have plot, but it is a vibey book. So if you're someone who like really needs genre, this might be something to think about. Although there is quite a bit of surrealism and kind of 
magical realism. So if you're looking to maybe go out of your comfort zone, Martyr might be a fun book to try out. Another thing to think about, and something that I'm still kind of like chewing on, is the ending of this book. I have so many questions, and I love an open-ended ending, but I love when an author leaves me with more questions than answers, and leaves me with a conversation that I can have with friends. Like, I immediately texted Nathan to be like, hey, what did you think of this ending? Also, this book made me cry. I think any book that makes you excited to talk about and poses questions, I mean, I think that's the case with any art, any art that moves you and, and interrogates you and, and forces you to ask some questions, whether they're cozy, comfy questions or uncomfy questions is, is interesting art to experience. And I know I just warped the cons into pros, but if you are somebody who likes your endings wrapped up in neat little bows, this might be something to think about before picking up this book. What are the pros? There are so many, and there are so many reviews about this book that I feel like you could watch any of these reviews and come up with a list, a huge, huge laundry list of why this book is just, I mean, it's worth all the hype. It's been on so many book lists of why this book is anticipated and I'm just really excited for Akbar to write more novels and I feel like now I really need to pick up his poetry because oh this book but anyway so what are the pros well like I said before this book really talks about and goes about breaking mediums just in like how this book is formatted through conversations and imagination this book really takes what a novel is um, and the kind of formulas of that and like breaks it and spins it apart. And it does it in a way that isn't like too self-referential. Like it does it in a way that is like not too like ego driven. It's, it's done in a way that feels real and authentic and like it actually is necessary for us to kind of experience the book. It's enjoyable and it doesn't make it, it didn't make me feel too, like, annoyed at, like, the big brain energy of the book. It, it just made it seem, like, new and fresh and unique. Another thing that Akbar does that's really cool is he, he does jump time and perspective and that whole surrealism and realism. All of this is done in a way that really is done well and isn't too confusing, which I think can be really tough for authors to, to get done right. Another thing that Akbar does well is he really uh, works well with humor, especially like kind of dark humor in a way that feels very smart and also just very like real. Okay, now for reading Rex. Two people who I recommend if you liked Martyr or are thinking about reading Martyr are the books There There and Beauty Land. Now these two authors are also in Akbar's writing group and they're kind of friends and writing mentors and compatriots. What is the meaning of the word compatriot? With Akbar and their writing is all kind of almost in conversation with each other while also being unique. These authors all talk about life and what it means to live in ways that are really powerful and interesting. Now finally, what are my takeaways from this book? Well, my main takeaway from this book and what I'm really excited about um, in reading in general now is the idea of books that break the expectations of the novel format. And I think I've talked about this before in my reflections of what I like to look for in a novel. And I'm always looking for new ways that authors can kind of break the reader's expectations. And Akbar really does that. And he does so in a way that feels fresh and exciting and fun. And also, I just, I love a poet who, who writes a novel. So I'm looking for more of that in the rest of the year. So that's been my review of Martyr. You've been watching Dog Your Musings. I'm Monica. Happy reading.